Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Royals versus Orioles Major League Baseball matchup on Sunday, April 21st, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK for 15% off. We also have products meant for people who make big bets, people with big bankrolls looking for that one-on-one -on -one concierge style service. We offer these products, they're just not available on the website. So if you bet $500,000 plus per game, just text the number that you see on the screen. It's easy, so if you make big bets like I do, just text that number, but let's get to it. We've got the Royals taking on the Orioles. Of course, the story this season for the Royals is, man, they have been just murder incorporated at home. One tough customer at Kauffman Stadium. Meanwhile, the Orioles, a team that were picked to win it all, certainly playing well, but a little bit streaky. You know, at, at home, they had that nice homestand against the Twins, kind of inflated that record a little bit, but going back on the road, maybe a little bit back down to earth. And I think for the Orioles, and I think what we see most Major League Baseball teams, and uh, you know, and just the way that baseball works, and I think a a lot of you guys out there that might be newer to betting baseball or newer to betting in general, I think you're finding out that you know even the very best teams lose 60 plus times a year. So uh, you know laying big odds and favorites and road favorites and all that kind of stuff, not a great strategy if you want to win over the long haul in Major League Baseball. But the thing is, the Royals have been a great value play, and they go with Seth Lugo today, who's certainly come through. Um, you know after pitching with the Padres last year, he's pitched pretty well here in his stint with the Royals with a 1.05 ERA in his three starts. He's got a 3-0 and record, which to me doesn't mean anything, but you know, it's how he got there, which is the 21 hits allowed in 25 and two-thirds. Just three runs over that point, so not just three earned, three total runs across the plate. And to me, it's like sometimes you see these guys with low earned runs and you know a lot higher runs, but with Lugo on the mound, runs just aren't crossing the plate at all. 13 strikeouts and just six walks. And when you can keep those walks down, well, you're not going to have all those runs come in. It's just very, very simple. You, you allow free passes. Normally, you pay the price on those eventually. Meanwhile, Cole Irvin goes here for the Orioles. Of course, this guy, more of a guy that's supposed to log some innings, but he's pitched pretty well this season. At least his last outing, he was pretty solid. We only went four and a third, but he allowed just six hits and two earned runs. One of those was a home run. Did go 82 pitches, so kind of labored a little bit there. But, uh, you know, when you allow just two runs, at least you put your team in position. But he does come in with a 6.75 ERA. Uh, he's pitched just 14 and two thirds. He's allowed 11 runs over that span. He struck out 11. He doesn't walk a lot of batters either, just five and two home runs. So I think he's serviceable. He's a guy that's really there just to log innings and keep that keep the Orioles competitive in those games. The Orioles are, uh, you know, 21 and 8 in Sunday spots, which to me doesn't mean a lot, but the Royals 11 and 3 in their last 14 games, but the Orioles have won 9 of their last 12 against the Royals. We look at, you know, the, at the hitting of these two teams coming in, it's the the Royals who are bashing left-handed pitching, hitting at 266 and of course Irvin is a lefty, so they'll get to take their cuts at him. Meanwhile, the Orioles hit righties better than they hit lefties, hitting righties at 257. The bullpens here, pretty much straight down the middle, dead even. So I think in this one, I got to give the edge to the home team with the Royals. I know they're not going to continue to you know go through these ridiculously high winning percentages at home. But it looks like they're going to win a decent amount there. I'm going to take the Royals, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. They're 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.